use green light and pick up a social tool scarf. And th this you can actually do. No, actually, this, I thought she was doing juggling. I don't want you running. Yeah. This is fun. We love British Bulldog. All right, after this game, Alonzo is going to be hit, okay? He's going to yell, British Bulldog, one, two, three. All you guys have to run. Stay in the zone. All the orange cones, that is the zone. Once you get to the other side, across the green line, you're in the safe zone. So you don't have to worry about it anymore until we say, British Bulldog, one, two, three, again. If when you are running across, he grabs your flag, then the next round, you become another hit, okay? So y'all ready? Alonzo, I need to say, British Bulldog, one, two, three, and y'all going to run across. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Interesting, isn't it? Time to move to the next activity.
Okay. And how old are, is this class? Uh, what, what, a, what age? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Oh, the boys and girls, y'all are so good. Of course, you always got one little boy that rolls his alert down the street. Some people can start on their hips and work it all the way up to their neck and back down. We're going to need a little super glue, huh? We should have groups of four instead of groups of three. All right, y'all listen up. Today we're going to be doing baby steps. Let's see, Lynn. Okay, you guys are going to be doing baby steps. But the steps that we're going to learn today is a simple in, in, out, okay? I'm going to show y'all first. No B, no, no movement of the stage. Just to be on the stage side. Y'all are going to start on the inside. It's going to be a simple in, in, out. In, in, out. In, in, out. Okay, y'all got it? And the beat is going to stay the same. But I need y'all to watch something. Whenever y'all are flipping the sticks, the beat is just going to be a uh, uh, and I need y'all to slide them together, okay? Don't lift them up because that can cause the safety hazard. If somebody trips, your foot can be caught under it. It's just not safe. So remember, just do it. Uh, uh, slide. Okay. Also, notice she's not wrapping her hands around the pole. Yeah. Take and, your hands. and move this, these things in a little bit. Move these this way. Oh. This way. So that move them toward your partner. Oh. Uh, yes, like that. Okay. Now they can ha have something to hang on to without smashing, right? All right. Okay. All right. I need two people per group. One at the end of each of the Okay. Uh, we need that it's actually done with two people. Like move move back a little bit. J David, I mean uh, uh Rick. Yes, because otherwise you have to you have to practice everything three times instead of two. All right. Y'all listen up. The group over here will be like my starter group. They're going to start the rhythm, okay? They're going to start the B first. I need every other group to catch up with them. I need y'all to catch the same beat. If we don't have the same beat, we can't function. It won't work out. I'm going to stop. We're going to start all over. All right? Y'all start. Go.
practice classrooms at 9 20. Let's go, let's go. Yes, you would have to eat at 9 15. So that we have four, four or five minutes to talk. First group, start to beat.
him up a little bit so he can show some more dance moves. I know y'all are out of breath, but it's gonna be fun. Alright, we're gonna make this my example. Area, so we'll make sure y'all get to where you can see. Alright, the first step we're gonna do is called the straddle step. Just like Jeremy taught you, you know how y'all started in, in, out. This time we're gonna start out and then in, in. Alright, I think y'all can do that. So it's gonna basically be like. Alright, y'all got that? You can try it. Alright, let's get our, our first uh, our first group going with the beat with the beat. That's two people at once. Facing each other. If you have two people in your group, just get, you know, one in front of the other. So yeah. Alright, yeah. come on guys, go live. Start the beat. Ready? Steppers, because some kids won't dance. Okay. So we call them steppers and strikers, or steppers and beaters. Two at a time. Let's go. Okay. Uh, did you roll your ankle? without beating first, just going through it with the sticks laying there and then clapping their hands and then adding the beat to it. <laughs> Without the beat first, you know, just with the sticks laying there.
Yeah, Roderick, why don't you just stay the, a beater for the rest of the day? If you fold in one leg, it won't be in. Fold in one leg. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like now you will not take up so much room. Show them how it's done, Lonzo. Okay, we're not going to let children jump backwards. Why? And they're going to, yeah. Safety issue. Uh, try it without the sticks moving first.
You probably need to practice. All right, I do things they can do with you. Roger, do you need to Oh, yeah. Just, do you roll it all the time? Yeah, it happens every other time. Yeah. yeah all right. What you're going to do, you're going to do what we just did. So make an X and let go. X and let go. All right? When you're letting go, you want your other hand to catch it as it comes down. Good job, Steve. Good feedback. Good feedback. that. Y'all are so good. Look at that. I think we'll be juggling basketballs by the end of the semester. <laughs> 